Hello everybody, Jody Ann Johnson here with the 67th episode of Coffee with Jody. And today we're going to be covering the profile DISC. DISC is a behavioral profile and the value of this is knowing your predominant ways of behaving, but also how you can be effective with others. There's a lot of material that I'm going to be covering this, so you may see me referencing some documents because I've got a lot of them. There's a world of things that uh, that this can can tell you about yourself and also in how to be effective with others. So the first thing I want to do is to go over what each of the letters in the acronym DISC are. The first one is D. D for doer, directive, dominant, decisive. These are task-oriented people. They have a tendency to be assertive. When conflict is happening, their style is to be demanding. They need control. Their primary drive is independence and they love a challenge. They're comfortable with being decisive and their personal strength is being a great problem solver. Their preoccupation is with goals over people. And sometimes a limitation can be that they're just too direct. They can be intense people and they want control and variety. They fear losing and the blind spot is being held accountable. They need to work on empathy and patience because they're predominantly impatient. Right? Measure of maturity is the willingness for them to give up control. And under stress, they may become dictatorial and critical. They measure their worth by the impact of their results and the track record, both theirs and others. The next one is I for influential and inspiring. These are persuasive people. They, when they're in conflict, they attack. They need approval. They want to be liked. They primarily are driven by interaction and they're very people oriented and related. They're comfortable with social friendliness and they're an encouraging person. They speak sometimes without thinking. They can be too disorganized and non-traditional. They want approval and less structure. They fear rejection. And they have a blind spot about being able to follow through on their commitments. What they need to work on is controlling their emotions and following through. Measure maturity is objectively handling rejection. And under stress, they may become sarcastic and superficial. They measure their worth and the worth of others by the acknowledgments and compliments those people get. The S is for that steady supportive style. They tend to be patient. They comply when they're in conflict, they'll comply. They need routine and their primary drive is for stability. They prefer their tasks to be scheduled. They're task oriented people. They're comfortable being part of a team and their personal strength is being able to be supportive. Under uh, stress, they may be uh, overextended with procrastination in addressing change. Their personal limitations are sometimes being too indecisive and indirect. They want routine and harmony in the workplace. They fear sudden changes. The blind spot is embracing the need for change. They need to work on being assertive when they're under pressure and the measure of their maturity is standing up for themselves when they're confronted. Under stress, they may become indecisive and submissive, and they measure the worth of people themselves and others by compatibility and their contributions. The last one is the C, which is a blue bar, and that one is conscientious. They're contemplative people, they avoid conflict. They need standards. Their primary drive is doing it right and being correct. They prefer their tasks to be structured and they're comfortable with order and planning. Their personal strength is being an organizer. The strength when it's overextended is being an overanalyzer of everything. Their personal limitations are being too detailed and impersonal. They want standards and logic. They fear being wrong. And the blind spot is they struggle to make decisions without overanalyzing. They need to work on worrying less about everything. The measure of maturity is not being defensive when they're criticized. 
and under stress they may become withdrawn and headstrong or stubborn. They measure worth by precision, accuracy, and the quality of their results. Now, when you get your DISC profile, you're going to have some combination of some percentages of each of these different styles in your report. And the, the beauty of the report is it will tell you what's unique about you based on the percentage of each of these four areas I've just described that you have in your, in your behavioral profile. Now, when I say behavioral profile, it's just that, it's behaviors. Now you'll have a natural way that you, that you are when you're at rest or you're at home and how you become when you're very stressed. And then you have an adapted, which is how you've learned to produce a result out in the work world. Hopefully they're very similar without too much of a change in the percentage in each one of those four areas. But sometimes there can be, which indicates a great deal of stress if the adapted area of D, I, S, or C is elevated beyond 10 to 15 points. The report gives you what it is that you need, how you'll work best and in what environments, what value you bring to the organization, how people can best communicate with you. It also tells you what to do and what not to do in communication. We talked a little bit about that already. Another great piece of this report is that it's 28 pages long and it gives you a good bit of information on how you can be effective with people whose profiles are other than yours. Included in your report are 12 behavioral tendencies and they're summarized under both your natural and adapted ways. These behaviors are how you are as a, as a customer and in team interactions, how you'll be when you build rapport, how you express openness, accuracy, personal drive, prioritization, providing instruction, change resistance, work process alignment, reasoning, self-reliance, and careful decision making. And it will tell you, are you engaging in this? Or are you relationship focused? Is it situational? Are you precise here? Are you social here? Are you intuitively based? And it lets you know those and then gives you a, a set of tools to be able to modify that if it's an area that you want to take action on. So the long and short of this is it's going to give you a much better understanding of you, your tendencies, your blind spots, the kind of environments in which you thrive best and the best ways for people to communicate with you and for you to be able to communicate with them. When this report is done as a team and we have access to one another's reports, then you know, oh, okay, I understand why this person behaves that way. This is their predominant style. And it doesn't give us a license to be, hey, this is me, take it or leave it. No, it's more a matter of, okay, they're like that, so I can adjust myself to be who's needed by that person in order to gain better rapport and effectiveness in our communication. We use this tool when we're looking to recruit because each role in the company will have a behavioral style that's best suited for it. So we'll identify what are those kinds of tasks that the person is going to be doing and then what is the best profile for them and write an ad to attract just that kind of person. So these tools, all of them, can be used in that way. But DISC is one of the first ones because it improves our ability to be effective in communication and in building rapport. Please like it, share it, and subscribe. We actually use this with all of our clients and have it as a part of our shopping cart on the website. And if you're interested in taking this profile or any of the others that I'm going to be talking about, you can find them on www.actioncoachteamsage forward slash profiles. That's it for now. Bye.